My name is Jillian Mercado. I am a model and an activist, and I also have muscular dystrophy. Having a disability, I've accepted it, so it doesn't stop me from doing anything. My electric wheelchair are my legs, and living in a city like New York, I can catch the bus, the train, or a taxi now and get to anywhere I need to go. I am here at the UN to talk about something that's very, very important to me, which is women and girls who have disabilities. It's an honor and a privilege to and show people that it's okay to be yourself and still do what you love. This whole, most of the international treaties and conventions have been adopted. Among them, CRPD. This is the largest human rights treaty ever. 177 states subscribe to it. I think that it's very important and everybody wants basic human rights. This is our main goal. Yeah. To include people with disabilities in the implementation of the In the conversation. conversation. Nobody knows about disabilities as well as we do. So having these conventions are crucially important to have a better world. Life is extremely beautiful and we should live it to its full potential. I'm about to meet the Secretary General and we are going to talk about super important issues. So come with me. How is the UN promoting full inclusion for people with disabilities? Well, first of all, to raise awareness, yeah. uh, to put it in the agenda. Second, to actively promote the adoption of laws. And then uh, to integrate them, uh, these questions in the Sustainable Development Goals. The convention was a, a landmark moment and every person with disability needs to make sure that they have access to full education, access to social protection, access to decent jobs. And also it's really important, at least for me, to talk about uh, women and girls who have disability and how important that is. So I just wanted to know your um, thoughts on that. We need to, be, uh, to make sure that women are not double victims. First, because being women, right. they are victims of discrimination, and second, because being women with disability, right. they are double victims of discrimination. So it is clear that this is a fundamental priority for us. In our relations with member states, to be absolutely sure that in their national plans of implementation of the Sustainable Development Goals, they take fully into account the rights of people with disability. I'm so glad that, you know, that I'm part of this, especially me myself having a disability, sometimes we feel like we're left out. And you know, at the end of the day, we're all humans and we deserve to have equal rights. We cannot afford to lose the contribution of one billion people to uh, the development of the world. If there's a message I want to say out there is to be vocal, talk. We're in a beautiful age of social media. And I think it's very important that if you have conversation next and you know it, you'll be at the UN talking about this. Thank <laughs> you.